Well, I've discovered something very interesting here between the crystalline cell that I'm, I'm working with here, this new stainless steel one, and this uh, oscillator, is there's a capacitive uh, relationship between the power source, which is the crystalline cell, and the oscillator. And I found out this morning, if I tune this uh, oscillator to a certain point, it'll stop oscillating unless I change the capacitance in here. And uh, very interesting, the dynamic of how this works. And watch when I touch this with my finger, which adds capacitance, I can turn this on. So, now I'm wondering about um, my little friend here, penny number one. And uh, this morning when it was cold, uh, I checked the voltage twice a day on this. The voltage on uh, her little cell was higher than it was brand new. And I think there's a dynamic, a feedback dynamic, uh, between the oscillator and this crystalline cell that may be a factor as to why this thing is doing what it's doing. But I also discovered that this little thing here can talk to that one. The two sisters can talk to one another. And I found that really interesting. Watch this. That oscillator there is telling that oscillator to turn on. Put it over here. The reason you can hear that on the radio is these are transmitters. And evidently there's enough juice coming out of penny number one to change the capacitance just enough in that circuit to make it run. And uh, I just thought that was really interesting that the two little oscillators could talk to one another. <laughs> That's a feedback loop. And if I get this real close here, there's the feedback loop between the cell and the oscillator. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons that this penny number one is doing what she's doing, is this feedback loop. I'll take this away. See, it stops. So anyway, I thought I would share that with uh, folks that are studying these things. That we're, we're finding out a lot of interesting things with these... Uh, these cells and uh, they're a fascinating study um, and the dynamic of what goes on in a crystalline cell is real different than uh, a normal galvanic. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.